Well, the following is a non-profit, fan-made parody. The Final Fantasy franchise is owned by Square Enix, Yoshinori Kitase, Hironobu Sakaguchi, and Tetsuya Nomura. Please support the official release. Any luck down there? On and on they searched, yet all the heroes succeeded in obtaining was a mound of snowy rocks and a pair of shriveled balls. I could help you warm them up. Elena? Sorry, son, but I haven't found anything either. Wait, here it is! The man begrudgingly acknowledges that his female compatriot discovered the target before he could. It's not a competition, sir. Guys, could we hurry it up? I'm getting nervous. When ain't you nervous? Well, my therapist says I've made a lot of progress. Yes, Reno. We are ready for extraction. Oh, gotcha. Chopper inbound. So, did you catch the game last night? Only the first half. I couldn't bear to watch the glories humiliate themselves like that. What'd you expect? The Ronzo Fangs are ranked second in Spear League, yo! But appointing Navara as an offensive fielder? Inexcusable. He stepped in for Zazi until his back injury heals. Oh, would have made a better fit for that position, though. More experience under her belt. Please! Pa can't make a shot to save her life! Okay, smart guy. Who would you have assigned as a filler? Noi! The goalie! Duh! Sure, the goal would have been left open, but their combined speed alone would have dominated the match over the fangs! See? This guy knows what I'm talking about! Wait, who are- Sup? Sung! Cover! Reno, wait! We're not aboard yet! Reno! You redhead son of a bitch! In hindsight, Putting the coward in charge of the getaway vehicle was not my brightest idea. So, let's chat. Mind repeating what your therapist said about you making progress? Actually, I mind very much right now. The life stream, also known as MacGuffin, er, sorry, Mako. It flows through the inside of our planet, Gaia. fueling it. The life stream allows plant life to grow, allows us to live, and thanks to the Shinra Electric Power Company, it gave us a source of energy. But the life stream is also where our souls return to when we die. So you can kind of see why the idea of using your grandmother's spirit to charge your phone might turn some people off. People like my dad and the rest of Avalanche. Shinra didn't care much for dissenters, so they created super soldiers, called soldiers, to keep people in line. They made them stronger using cells from the remains of Genova, an ancient alien entity. Oh, did I forget to mention there are aliens in this backstory? Cause, yeah, there's effing aliens. Genova crash-landed on Nagaya a long time ago and tried to kill everyone. Then, one day, a soldier who had been given lots of Genova cells went crazy and tried to kill everyone. Fancy that. The soldier's name was Sephiroth, and he called down a meteor to try and get revenge on everybody. While Avalanche did stop him, planet Gaia itself had to use the life stream to stop the meteor. That was two years ago. We thought the planet had gotten rid of the biggest threat to its existence. But given the population's present state of health... Maybe... It has one last threat to eliminate. Despite having doubled the budget from last time, the Commission's investigation into a geostigma cure yielded limited results. However, their findings did lead to a discovery regarding Gaia's atmosphere. Scientists found that the atmosphere still has faint traces of the... Ugh, why do we even have that stupid business phone anymore? 
All we ever get Probably are telemarketers. This is connected to the Geo Stigma. A large portion of the public has begun leveling accusations towards the Shinra Corporation's Mako reactors. However, because the company was almost entirely disbanded after its sale, it's unlikely that this will result in a class action suit. The investigation into a cure is still ongoing. You're listening to K-Plot, the all plot point news channel. After this break, we'll be announcing bank robberies and car chases in progress for the next hour. Feel any better, Denzel? Mm, no. Still feeling pretty... dying y <laughs> You should try to get some more rest, then. Which would be much easier if someone would answer the damn phone! Fine, but right after, we're gonna have a nice talk about that little temper of yours, Missy. Sorry, Ms. Lockhart. Look, I get that you're just doing your job, but whatever you're selling, I'm not interested. Goodbye. Ugh. I said- please, please don't hang up like that. I don't take rejection well. Wait, Reno? Oh, you remember me. So, we were wondering if Cloud was there? Voicemail again, eh? Well, you'll definitely want to listen to this one. Reno called with a job offer. <sighs> the Turks. Please say you didn't accept. But of course I told them we'd have to be pretty desperate to take work from the Turks. Oh, cool. Maybe I don't give her enough credit. But then I remembered, oh yeah, we are that desperate for clients. Uh... So yeah, he's waiting for you at the lodge over in Helan. Go get him, Tiger. Stupid post-meteor economy. You have one. Remaining voice message from... Barrett Wall. Huh. Well, at, at least, least it's not as annoying as those distracting text boxes. Ah! You know, you should really get that looked at. No one asked the peanut gallery. I'm just saying is all. We'll discuss it later. For now, how about some road tunes? In the mood for anything in particular? I don't know. Channel surf? How's about... No. 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 Yeah, no. 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 Absolutely not! No. I'm a dick. Feast your eyes, boys! Edge City! Soon to be ground zero for my master plan! <laughs> I don't know, Kadaj. I still say triangulating the global map would be the most efficient way to locate Your mother. dumb geography strategy was slow and boring! Aww, oh, but I like the map plan! Because you kept using my protractor to doodle dragons and giant turtles on it! The tale of Trogdor versus Bowser must be told, Yazoo! Cram it! <laughs> Don't cry, Laz. Kadash didn't mean to yell. He just meant that we need to concentrate on keeping watch for class. Say, speak of the devil. How can you tell? He's too far away. Ah, uh, who cares? I say we beat him up anyway. To make the pain I feel inside go away. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Yay! Biker mice from Mars, go! <sighs> no... No, just pick something, Cloud. Sure, I'm digging this. Oh, thank heaven and... Oh! Um, hi? Can I help you? Yeah, for starters, you could die. This will be more fun than G-Bike. License and registration, sir! Oh, here you go!
go, officer. I'm an easy rider. Would anyone care to explain why you're attacking me? Well, we're Kadaj, Laz, and other Kadaj! Yes, sir! And we're trying to bring back our fourth brother by collecting the remains of our mother, Laz, what did we tell you about informing the enemy about the plan? Don't? You thought the Turks were bad. Not now, Zach. What'd I say? When you talk during a fight, I get... Distracted. Hmm. Oh, excuse me? Whoa, wait, what are the chances? Uh, pardon my pun, but I think we've got another bullet to dodge. This is going to suck. Huh? What? Ah, come on! Thanks for calling Draw Seal Materia. My name is John. How may I assist you today? Yeah, I had a whole two minutes left on my demo Shadowhound Summon Materia when it suddenly quit working. What the hell? <sighs> Sir, if you'll just calm down, I'll help you as best I can. Now, were you using it in an unsupported area, such as Wutai or Fort Condor? No. Okay, how many did you have summoned when the materia shut down? Uh, like, I don't know, a dozen? All trial versions of Draw Seal Summon Materia are drained after 15 minutes of moderate use, or 3 to 5 minutes of heavy use. You simply used up the whole thing. The sales rep who handed it to me never mentioned that use was a factor! I apologize for any inconvenience the miscommunication has caused, but there's nothing I can do for you. Actually, there is! You can hand me over to your supervisor or anyone else with a shred of competency! Of course, sir. I'll connect you right over to my supervisor, Mr. Tone. Tone? Yeah. First name, Dial. <laughs> So, any clue who those jokers were? Nope. And that doesn't alarm you. Did you see them? They're about as coordinated as a beehive that's on fire. Or a first grade dodgeball team. Or a first grade dodgeball team that's on fire. Well, they seem to know who you are. At bare minimum, you could call Tifa to warn her. Ugh, fine. I'll do it after the meeting. There, see? That wasn't so hard. But for now... I'd appreciate if Jimmy Cricket would pipe down. I've got business to discuss. You're the boss. Ah! Someone's breaking in! Whoa! What the? Oh, hiya, Cloud. Uh, Cloud, I think the door actually. Sure, the lack of manners doesn't come as a shock. But would it really kill you to at least frickin' knock? Oh. Yeah, whatever. Here's your delivery of humiliation, oh, sir. That'll be a hundred gil. Watch out! We've through. got a badass over here! Hmm? You, you know how expensive a locksmith is? That locksmith is really gonna cut into my therapy, though. Rufus? The one so and only. Diamond Weapons Blast completely demolished the top floor. Yeah. The floor you were on. Yeah. The explosion was visible 20 miles away. Was it pretty? Glass and shrapnel everywhere. Most unpleasant. How? He somehow survived. Mm-hmm. Good. Now that we're on the same poorly written page, let's talk about you, Mr. Strife. Guys, there's a bee out here. And I left my keys inside. And my EpiPen. A little help. 
This better be one hell of a proposition. Please, Mr. Strife. You know I always go big or go home. I'm surprised you can go anywhere in that thing. Really? We're making fun of the disabled now? Only because it's you. If I may continue, ahem, while we may have avoided certain doom from the media, we now have this whole geostigma to deal with. Some of us, more than others. One might say he has first-hand experience. Shut up. Awfully testy today, aren't we? No, not you. That was towards... Reno. But I didn't say anything. I said shut up! Alright, in the interest of time, I'll cut to the chase. Ever since Geostigma popped up, I've dedicated nearly all my resources into tracking down the cure for it. 25% because I feel sorry for the nice fault, but mostly because I have it myself. So sue me. And your results? The disease itself isn't what's killing us. It's our own immune systems. The body pours nearly all it's got into fighting the infection, and it doesn't know when to quit. In the end, the body collapses after devoting all its energy towards a fruitless endeavor. Kinda like a loser at a bar who keeps buying drinks for that lady who's way out of his league. That's a gross oversimplification of... Actually, that's a very apt analogy. Well done, Rude. Mm-hmm. And what about a cure? Unfortunately, we have nothing to show on that front. The Geostigma cure remains as elusive as its origins. <laughs> Sad, right? The entire human race may very well go extinct from an incurable ailment. And we can't even figure out where the hell it came from. I warned those bastards I'd give everyone the worst cold of the night! <laughs> Which is why we tried the Hail Mary of Vicotugo at the Northern Cave. Why there? See, one of my scientists postulated that when Sephiroth died and returned to the livestream, his consciousness lived on. The Genova cells within his body corrupted it, so when all the Mako from the livestream burst from the planet to stop the meteor, the bad juju cells spread all over the planet too. According to him, the geostigma cells in everyone's body is Sephiroth exerting his will over Gaia's inhabitants. It is with no exaggeration that I say, that is the dumbest theory I've ever heard. Right? But we had fuck all else to go on, so I had the Turks come through the last known location of Genova and Sephiroth. Any luck? As a matter of fact, yeah. We found the remains of Genova's head and a troop of killer Sephiroth wannabes. Wait, what? They immediately opened fire, so there wasn't much time no, to- No, 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 the part about Genova's remains. What's so confusing about that? How on God's green guy did that thing not decompose over the last two years? Zomzing Zomzing Genova cells. Can I finish? Anyway, the three of them seemed quite hellbent on obtaining the remains, so we hid the head in a secure location to begin testing. However, I'm down to just a pair of Turks, and I fear I haven't seen the last of them. That is why I called you here, Cloud. Oh, thank Christ! I was beginning to wonder if you forgot why! Genova's remains are the key to curing the Geostigma Cloud. I can feel it. But they must remain out of unscrupulous hands. For that reason, former soldier Cloud Strife, I ask you to help safeguard the future. Nay, the very fate of the human race. What say you? Will you help us save the people of this planet? I have one question. Yeah? Would I be reporting to Reno and Rude? Yeah? Thanks for wasting my time! Um... Nice seeing you again! Eat a dick! So, why'd you want to come here, Marlene? Denzel's down in the dumps about his Geo Sigma. Daddy told me that the easiest way for a guy to feel better is if a pretty girl gets him something nice. Wow. Barrett said that? Oops, I meant to say, the easiest fucking way. That sounds right. And that's very sweet of you, dear. Hey, isn't that Cloud stuff? I offered to share my bed, then he goes and sleeps on the ground? Maybe you're coming on too strong? <sighs> no such thing. Hey, what's in here? Uh, best not look. Huh? That's probably where Cloud keeps his... literature. Oh! <gasps> it's like Denzel's! 
Does Cloud have Geo Stigma too? Well, that explains his push for getting a healthcare package. Is he avoiding us so he doesn't infect us too? It's tough to crack why Cloud does half the things he does. But I know that, deep down, a part of him really cares about us. Yeah, I'll bet he- And he cares for me most of all, but he just can't come to grips with it. He hopes I don't see it, but I do. Uh, Tifa? Oh. So, how about we wait here till he gets back? Sure. But, how do we show Cloud that we want to be there for him? Well, I haven't tried beating the message into him yet. Oh, let me help! Daddy taught me a mean haymaker. So what's the word? Did the others have any leads on Elena or so? Afraid not, man. <sighs> I really feel terrible for abandoning them back there. <sighs> it's cool, Reno. They're probably still alive and kicking. Well, I guess if Rufus somehow got most of the former Shinra employees to come work for him again, anything's possible. That being said, we gotta stay on high alert for those three creeps from the cave. Ooh. Well... On the bright side, the only other people who know we're here are Sung and Elena. Right. And those two would never give us up like that. And yet, here I am. Uh. Not not Genova's witnesses. Why didn't Tifa pick up this phone? Hmm. Tifa's Seventh Heaven Bar. Hello. Could I please speak to Miss Lockhart? I'm the only one here right now. And you're how old? Yes, I'm an intensely sick, parentless child who's been left unsupervised in a bar. I'm not happy about it either. Now, can I take a message? Parentless? Well, it goes back to after the Meteor Fall event. Okay. Let's recap, Denzel. The Sector 7 collapse killed both Mom and Dad. Our Guardian died during the meteor mishap. And now we're homeless, friendless. And we've contracted Geostigma. Poster child of a charmed life. As written by George R. R. Martin. <laughs> well, maybe I can at least find some food. Hmm. Food. Food. Hey! A Mario coin! I could buy some food with that! Eh, mm. uh. uh. the exchange rate sucks nowadays anyways. Aw, oh, score! But I know stealing's bad. Um... Oh, screw it. I'm a product of my environment anyways. break. <laughs> Bet your ass I'm calling this number. Seventh Heaven, Tifa speaking. I is this really heaven? Yes, this is Tifa's Seventh Heaven. Can I help you? Yeah, I I got a pretty bum deal in this life and I'd like a do-over. I'm sorry? I'm a dissatisfied customer and I'd like to speak to your manager. Well, I apologize if you were given poor service. You're currently speaking to the manager. No, I mean God, lady. Transfer me over to first heaven or whichever heaven he's in. Is this a joke? Does it sound like I'm laughing, sister? Put me through to God right now. M my parents are dead. Ask around. I'm sure they're up there somewhere. <laughs> hey, are you all right? I want you to know this is the strangest phone call I've ever taken. <laughs> Hey, hey kid. Did you touch my bike? Hey, I asked you a question. And that's how I met Cloud, sir. Sir? Oh. Probably should have expected that.
Oh. 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 No. It's an honor, Mr. President. Spare me the playful banter. What the hell do you want, pretty boy? Okay, straight to the point. Where's Mom's head? Oh, that. I don't blame you for wanting some. Your mom gives great head. Oh, a wise guy, eh? Maybe these'll show you I mean business. Gee, thanks for killing them. Do you have any idea how hard it is to find good weird herbs these days? My sympathy is palpable. Now where is it? Why do you want it? It's like this, Professor X. Ma wants my brothers and I to gather up all our little friends for a nice old get-together. A reunion, if you will. <laughs> Retreat! I am sorry. Keep going? We're more than happy to assemble all of Ma's stigma-riddled guests. But what's a party without its host? So what, you want the head for a decorative centerpiece? To become whole again, Mr. President. Whole is the goal. Don't jack my style, yo. Sure, we three have Genova cells in us, but without Ma herself, we'll never be reunited with our fourth brother. Fourth? Here, let me show you. Yes! Cower in fear! Stop staring at me, creepo. 